What's up guys, Skinner here, back for another episode of War Thunder. Well, I should really stop calling them episodes. Anyway, today we're playing some Japanese tanks. This is the uh, Ho-Ai, as I believe it is. And, I can say it's a pretty nifty little tank. This thing is quite OP, or overpowered for anyone that doesn't get that reference. Um... It has a short barrel of 75, but this APHE round, which is uh, the round on two which I just selected, is honestly like a death star round. Anything that's under four has under 40 millimeters of armor, which is a lot of things at 2.0, especially and especially that we're at the moment no one has good tanks. Um, so we just do that, and it just ricocheted. Our engine just got like heavily damaged. So we don't want to repair. So we want don't want to be going into an engine that's just gonna take one bullet and it's gonna die. She has shotgun. No. This thing for 2.0 has a short barrel 75 and 50 millimeters of frontal armor. And a death star round. I believe there is an actual there is an bot over there. Nope, there's actually an actual player. Um, just gonna get this little guy back up. I think I need to push up to the cap. Push up. I think that Crusader 2 though will shoot me. That was the same thing that shot my engine out. Um. I need to put the front wall on my turret towards him. And he screwed up. He's basically useless at this point. Oh, someone killed Steeled. Pretty ironic. Um, there's another tank though. It's a I go Co. Oh, it's not a hard go. There we go. It's a little trick that you learn. If you if you can't get enough depression, just time your shots right and just pull back last second. It's quite hard to do, but if you pull it off, you get that shot, and it might just win your game. Anything over there can't really harm me. I go, it's only 32 millimeters penetration with the only round. This thing is also deadly accurate, like... But, if you say this thing's inaccurate, like, you're wrong. There we go, he's fucked. Also, I'm fucked right now. I don't have a machine gun at the moment. I can eat at the moment 20 mils for breakfast um, at the front of my armor. There we go, I was dumb and let my sides get exposed. Um, little hard go at the moment has the shot on me. Though if I keep, as long as I am moving, I should be good. This thing is extremely maneuverable. There we go. Took him out. Oh, we've got three kills, which is actually pretty decent. I think we're just gonna. Rep um, well we won't get. I don't have the crew replenishment yet. I do not have it fully upgraded. Um, to say. There we go. Got him. Very good. The rounds are quite low velocity though, as you can see it's got a massive drop on this gun. Oh, Antipori got me. Where did he go through? That's the HET round, that would have gone through anyway, that's 80 mils a pen. From 
pretty sure that's H E A T. Right. I do have the Horo. I'm not really got that upgraded yet. Actually, we'll go out with the shotgun for now. The shotgun is another one of those tanks that are really maneuverable, but again, have a very low velocity, derpy gun. This thing only has HE. This thing would be too OP with HEAT. Um, so yeah, look at this thing. This thing can go pretty quick. 43, 44 on flat ground. And yeah. Blew that tree out of the way. But yeah, the one bad thing is this this thing can be eaten up and then spat out by 20 mils. Like, even 50 cows could probably pin this thing at the front. It isn't that good. Like, it's. I guess it's okay to get you into the game of having the Japanese tanks early, but in the result of getting them early, you do have not a that decent vehicle. It's all hard go though. It can basically eat those for breakfast, hard goes. Why am I saying everything's been eaten for breakfast? Uh, we're gonna have to... Where is he? I can't see him. There we go. That's when I say this thing's like a Death Star. I don't know where he is. I'm just gonna randomly shoot over there. Oh, okay, I'm close to him. If we keep him artillerying over this his way, should try to hit him eventually. Um this thing is actually got a not a naval gun, it's actually an artillery gun. I don't know why they put naval. Um Um, little hard go. Go really try to line this hard go up. Eh. My friend doesn't know I'm recording. Eh. There we go. Where's transmission and track? Um. Again, this thing isn't that accurate. Um, probably have a better shot of hitting something if you used a smaller caliber gun. Um, this is the same Panzer Fork E that killed me. There we go. That's what I say this thing can literally destroy anything it hit. Especially, oh, hit? Hits. Especially at 2.0. Like, this thing is literally a Death Star to a death ringer. There we go. Another one shot. There we go. Hit pretty decent amount of kills. Up, oh, and that's my way of showing this thing has no armor. Now, since I have nothing protecting me. And be eaten up alive by little tanks. Unless we back up. Now I've got no horizontal aiming drive. And we're gonna have to get that one crew member back. God damn it! Back in Panzer! We're gonna have to back up to these Huggos. The Huggo is still a pretty decent tank. I would go for the Japanese Tiger, but my wallet isn't that full. Like, I would have bought the Tiger, but eh. This thing still is a pretty neat way to grind the early tiers. So, yeah. Um. Fire. 
Yep. As you can see, this thing is ripped up by 20 mils. Um. Right. I would take out the Horo, but it's a good time to show something that isn't really shown off. Chiha. Kai. Is the thing it's K Kai. I don't know. 47 millimeter. Um. Pretty decent reload rate. Little tight tight machine gun in the hull. Again, this basically is a Chi 12 centimeter, but just with 47 instead. Well, let's see what we get from this game. Um, Jacob looks like quite a bit. Oh, look at that! That's pretty nice. Um, almost there. We're almost there to the Chi He. But as you can see. If I go to the who I uh, just quickly research all this. Got a lot of XP for this. This is what the great thing about having premium accounts. Just oh yeah, the XP for days. Um get those breaks. If we go and show off the Chiha shotgun. And see, only twenty five millimeters of armor is your thickest armor. Um I mean something like a if we go to the my arch nemesis, the Jepard. Oh no, we're not going to try it. Modifications. If you're loading these rounds, these do 64 millimeters of penetration, 10 meters. This has got 500 meters. I can penetrate like a Chi Ha shotgun up to 500 meters. Um. This thing can go almost up to a thousand meters if you use the Panzer Granat bullets. Those that, but if you use the Panzer Granat 40s, you do have more penetration at close range. Um, so yeah, I'm um, just that quickly saying, be looking forward to videos on these vehicles here, these premiums. We, I'll show you what I do have in the case of premiums. We do have. Um, a lot of these, we do have this, and this, and uh, America, we do have the Grant one, um, not sure if we had anything else, no we do not have anything else, but do look forward to all of that, that's going to be extremely cool, I do have a lot of planes also as premiums, um, but I am trying to get lots of Japanese tanks at this point, so yeah, if you guys uh, like the video, make sure you guys slap a like on it. If you guys dislike the video, make sure you guys put a dislike on it. Anyway, I don't really care about your opinion. Just, actually, I do. I do. I just I just want to see what I'm doing right, if I'm doing it right or wrong. If you guys really like the video, make sure you guys consider subscribing. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.